What's good, YTBC? What's good, fight fans, boxing heads around the world? B. Marsh with another boxing video. So on this day in boxing history, May 31st, 1997, IBF Junior Welterweight Champion, Kostya Zou faces Cool Vince Phillips, you know what I'm saying? And um, this was a fight that was... um. What was this fight at? Um, I think I want to say Atlantic City. It was in Atlantic City in 1997, and um, it was a good fight, man. You know, it was a fight which was um, definitely one of the upsets of the year in 1997. You know what I mean? You know, the man Costa Zoo was a champion at uh, a junior welterweight. He was a champion there since about like 95 and this particular fight like I said happened in 1997 you know what I mean um cool Vince Phillips was a guy who was um uh, moving moving down in weight actually you know what I mean you know cool Vince Phillips had fought guys like Ike Quarte he lost to Ike Quarte um in a, by TKO you know what I'm saying and that particular fight was uh he was fighting for Ju um Against I Quarte for I Quarte's WBA welterweight strap. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Vince Phillip was definitely the underdog, you know what I'm saying? But um the man Vince Phillips definitely was the bigger guy on this particular fight. On this particular night, he was the bigger guy with the longer reach. They were both about the same height, about five seven. You know what I mean? But um Costa Zoo had never lost, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, this man, uh, Vince Phillips, was the guy who took his first O, you know? The man, uh, Costa Zou, was a guy who, um, you know, the man only had two losses in his career, you know what I'm saying? And um, this was his first loss, you know what I mean? So, you know, in the fight, the fight was, uh, it was a good fight, man. You know, the underdog, Vince Phillips, you know, he was using... Um, his length and his reach, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he was definitely, you know, he was using his one-two, the classic one-two, man. That was the name of his game. You know, Vince Phillips had a great right hand at this particular, in this particular time, of, um, like about whenever he fought in his era, you know what I'm saying? He had one of the best right hands in the game, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, Costa Zoo was a pressure fighter, you know. Costa Zoo was always a guy who come forward and things, you check it. But um Costa Zoo definitely was a harder hitter in this particular fight, you know what I mean? He was the harder hitter and had faster hands, you know. Um Vince Phillips could throw punches in there, you know. Um but the man Vince um what's his name? Costa Zoo was, was definitely the quicker guy, at least in the earlier rounds, you know what I mean? In the earlier rounds, man, uh, Costa Zoo was winning the fight, you know. He wasn't b dominating, but, uh, you know, he was definitely, you know, winning points, you know what I mean? You know, he was, um, whenever Vince Phillips would, um, would get close, you know, Costa Zoo would, you know, clinch the guy. And, um, whenever Vince Phillips was, um, uh, you know, he, he had, he would, uh, you know, he used this jab in this particular fight. But um, he ain't use it enough, you know. For the taller guy with the longer reach, he didn't use it enough. And the man, um, uh, Costa Zoo was even landing more jabs, landing more jabs and throwing more jabs than uh, Vince Phillips for the smaller guy. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, um, I was thinking about round four, the man Costa Zoo, um, Vince Phillips, I got cut. You know what I'm saying? Um, Costa Zoo was catching him with some right hands, you know, he had the quicker hands as far as, you know, when they were fighting, you know, when, he, when the man would get within range, you know what I mean? You check it, Costa Zoo was more landing punches from the inside or when he would get closer, you know, pressuring the man, you know what I'm saying? Um, and that's how he got to cut that man in, um, in that round four, he caught him on the, on, um, on his right eye, you know what I'm saying? Probably from them jabs, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, the man Vince Phillips, though, he was definitely using his one-two, you know what I'm saying? The few times he did use his jab, which wasn't that few, to, you know, to be honest, but like I said, Costa Zoo was a smaller guy and he was throwing and landing more jabs. 
but whenever this man Vince Phillips threw his jabs and followed it up with the with the right hand, you know what I'm saying? He was catching the man Costa Zoo, you know what I mean? In round five, you know, he started off right off the jump when the bell rang. He caught Costa Zoo with three one-twos, one-two, one-two, and another one-two followed up. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, he was you know, he was so he was using his one two well, you know what I mean? And you know, um Costa Zoo, he'd catch him especially when Costa Zoo would throw that jab and he'd just catch him with the with the with the right hand over the um the over the jab, you know what I'm saying? And then you could see and you know the man Vince Phillips was also throwing body shots and that's one thing um what's his name was neglecting. Um Costa Zoo, he was barely if rarely if he was, he wasn't even throwing any body shots really. But Vince Vince Phillip was, you know what I mean. I'm not going to say that Vince Phillips was going to the body all day, but it started around like round five, round six, you know what I'm saying. And you could see that that he was wearing Costa Zoo down, you know what I mean. And like I said, the first first half of the fight, man, I had Costa Zoo winning five of the first six rounds, you know what I'm saying. I think I gave. Um, I think I gave round, um, Vince Phillips round five, you know what I'm saying? You check it, so, um, you know, um, and now you can see Vince Phillips is, um, now he's, he's the, he's the come forward fighter, and this was, um, something rare in, in round, in round six and seven, seeing the man Costa Zoo, you know, on his back foot, you know what I mean? Costa Zoo was a guy who put pressure on guys and walked forward, you know what I mean? But this man, um, Vince Phillips, is now stalking the man. You can see Vince, um, the man, fighting off the back foot now, you know, moving backwards, which was very rare in, in Costa Zoo's career, you know what I'm saying? And um, and in that round seven, that man, um, Costa Zoo, you could see those body shots was wearing him down and them one-twos, and then he got caught with a vicious one-two, a right hand, right hand cross, you know what I'm saying? That dropped Costa Zoo, put him on the seat of his pants, you know what I'm saying? Costa Zoo, you know, was being lazy. He ain't have his um right hand up, you know what I'm saying? He ain't have his hands up on defense. He was trying to um block um the jab that was coming in. But Vince Phillips followed up with a nice right hand cross and it put Costa Zoo down. Now, you know, from this point on, you know, Costa Zoo is not the same fighter, you know. You could see he's, he's getting tired, you know what I'm saying? He was... um. He was, his punches weren't. Uh, he was taking punches, you know. And I think the the moral, the um, the theme of this this particular fight was, you know, Vince Phillip was hitting the man Costa Zoo with the one twos, but uh, Costa Zoo was eating those punches. You know what I mean? He was taking them flush on the face, and you know, you got the, you know, you you basically got the, um, you know, the you check it, you think that you would see that the man um, Costa Zoo could take these punches. You know what I'm saying? And that was basically, you know, the theme of the night, you know, that Costa Zoo was taking these punches and Vince Phillips couldn't hurt him, you know what I'm saying? But I think the accumulation of punches is now starting to wear down on um, Costa Zoo when he got dropped in that round seven, you know what I mean? And by round nine, they both got their eyes cut, you know what I'm saying? You check it, they were trading in the middle of the ring, throwing vicious, vicious punches. And the man Vince Phillips got cut with a left hook. That cut him above the right eye, you know what I'm saying? And even the ref had to st um, take that man to the corner so the doctors could check it out, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, it was bleeding. It was, it was bleeding. It was a deep cut, but it wasn't bleeding that bad, you know what I'm saying? So when he went to the corner, man, his, uh, his trainers and his corner man were telling Vince Phillips, man, you got to win this fight, man. You got to go out there and knock this guy out, you know what I mean? And uh, you could see Vince Phillips now. He had a sense of urgency, you check it. Um, Costa Zoo is is still in the fight, but like I said, he's uh he's looking a little tired by the round by the ninth round, you know what I'm saying? And his punches look like uh Vince Phillips is now taking him and you know, he wasn't afraid to mix it up and even trade with um with uh Costa Zoo in the middle of the ring, you know what I'm saying? And then round round ten, you know, the body shots they started to slow um the man Costa Zoo down, you know what I'm saying, and he looked like um it was looking real lethargic in that 10th round, you know what I mean? And um, the man Vince Phillips started catching the man with the with the right hands, you know what I'm saying? And he caught him with one right hand that wobbled him off a of 1-2, you know what I'm saying? And it, and it wobbled the man Costa Zoo, and Costa Zoo now is moving backwards, 
You know, he doesn't really have his hands in front of his face. And Vince Phillips jumped on him on the ropes, you know what I mean? He jumped on him with some one-twos, plenty of right hands, left uppercuts. You know what I'm saying? He threw about 10 unanswered shots in there, you know what I mean? And the referee jumped, jumped in the middle and he stopped the fight, you know what I mean? 10th round TKO for Vince Phillips, you know what I'm saying? And uh, he stopped Costa Zou. Costa Zou wasn't on his feet, but he was definitely out of it, you know what I'm saying? He was definitely out on his feet, you know what I mean? So, you know, it was a good stoppage because, you know, the man took about 10 punches straight to the head and... You know, the man was, wasn't was defending himself. No punches thrown back, you know what I mean? In the in that line of fire. So, you know, Vince Phillips, man, he caused a major upset, you know what I'm saying? Nobody really saw this coming, you know what I mean? Vince Phillips was a guy, like I said, had lost to Ike Quarte, uh, content, trying to uh, fight for Ike Quarte's WBA strap, you know, at welterweight. So he came down to um, junior welterweight, and he upset um the man Costa Zoo, man, and this was a big upset, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Costa Zoo, you know, um, he went on to do great things in his career after that anyways, you know what I'm saying? Um, the man, you know, the man um, went on to become the undisputed champion at, at light welterweight, you know what I'm saying? He eventually got this belt back, this IBF strap that he lost to Vince Phillips. He got it back in about, uh, I think, like the year 2000. Was it 2000 or I think 2001 when he fought um, Zab Judah, you know what I'm saying? And that's when he became the undisputed champion at um a lightweight a lightweight, you know what I'm saying? Cause he had two belts at the time. Costa Zoo, he he beat guys like Sean Bay Mitchell. I remember he he unified the WBA belt and he had the WBC belt, you know what I'm saying? You know, he beat guys like um you know, Julio Cesar Chavez, you know what I'm saying? He stopped Cesar Chavez, you know, an older Cesar Chavez at that too though. You know what I'm saying? And he beat that man, Sean Bay Mitchell. You know, Sean Bay Mitchell had, I th he think he messed his knee up in that fight. He even fought Sean Bay Mitchell again later on in his career, you know what I'm saying? In a rematch, and he disposed of him easily again, you know what I mean? You know, he beat guys like Jesse James Leha. Jesse James Leha was a guy, you know, he was a world champ at the time. You know, I had four fights with, with uh, what's his name? With Azuma Nelson, you know what I mean? He fought, and, um, you know, Costa Zou got beat guys like Ben Taki, a tough warrior out of Ghana, you know, who's never been stopped, you know what I'm saying? Sean Bay Mitchell, you know? So he went on to have a good career, man, you know what I'm saying? He became the WBC champ when he beat, uh, beat um, what's his name? I want to say, uh, what's his name? Uh, Hurtado. Um, Hurtado was a Cuban guy, you know what I'm saying? A guy who had fought um, Pernell Whitaker, too. So, you know, um, Costa Zoo was, was, you know, was one of my favorite fighters in this era, man. You know, I was pretty mad when, when Ricky Hatton beat that man up there in Manchester, man. And, you know, and Ricky Hatton, that's how Ricky Hatton became, you know, the, the, the lineal champion at 140. He beat the man, you know what I'm saying? He retired Costa Zoo, you know? You know, Costa Zoo was my guy, man. I can't even lie, man. I wanted him to fight guys like De La Hoya. That's a fight I would have liked to see. You know, I would have liked to see him fight Floyd, you know. But, you know, he had a lot of injuries, you know, when Floyd was at 140. He was out there in Australia, and um, and he came back to fight Ricky Hatton. And, he, you know, it was a big fight out there in England at the time, you know what I mean? So, you know, Costa Zua, to me, definitely is in the top five. I put him in the top five of greatest light welterweights of all time, you know. You know, put him in there with guys like Cesar Chavez, you know, Benny Ross. Uh, you know, Antonio Cervantes, you know what I'm saying? He's definitely up there with these guys, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's my video on this day in boxing history, man. Major upset, man. Cool Vince Phillips. He goes on to stop uh, Costa Zoo, the first man to beat Costa Zoo. This was in May 31st of 1997. Major upset, you know what I'm saying? Probably should have been the upset of the year, you know what I mean? But yeah, man, let me know what y'all thought about this fight. Let me know what you thought about Costa Zoo and his career. How do you rate the man? Do you think he was great? Do you think he was um, a hype job? I don't. I think he was great in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? And um, let me know your thoughts and comments in the comment section. And if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. And please subscribe. B-Marsh Boxing, thanks for listening. I'm going to check you on the next video. Peace.